written in heaven of Revelation chapter 12, verse 1. A great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. And she was with child, and she cried out, being in labor and pain to give birth. Jesus calls such events fearful sights and great signs from heaven. The great sign from heaven will be the largest sign that has ever heralded a prophetic event. We are on the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. It is three in the morning on September 23, 2017. The first constellation in the great sign is rising above the horizon. We first turn our attention to the constellation of Leo. In Leo, the Alpha, or brightest star, is Regulus, the regal king star. Eight additional bright stars are used to form the constellation. But this leaves us three stars short of the twelve stars prophesied to crown the Virgin. On this special day, three wandering stars are in rare formation within the boundaries of Leo. They are Venus, Mars, and Mercury. This gives us the prophesied twelve stars to form the crown. Now we move to Virgo. Her left hip is formed by the alpha star named Spica, which means the seed. Her right hip is formed by the zeta star named Hes, which means the branch. On this day, the virgin is to give birth to the king planet between these two stars. Like all the planets, Jupiter, which images the Messiah, was misnamed and misdescribed by the Greeks. The king planet images the rescuing power of our Messiah. Because of this planet's gravitational strength, it takes countless hits or impacts for us from many of the dangerous objects that cross into the inner solar system. Also, the king planet had just spent nine months in the belly of the Virgin, reinforcing the prophetic imagery of the scriptures. To illustrate this wonder, we will now run the clock backward for a year. Notice that the king's the motion as Jupiter enters the belly of the Virgin. Now count the times that the moon flies by while Jupiter is in the Virgin's belly. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And in just under ten months, we arrive back at our fateful day, September 23rd, 2017. Now we will recap the prophetic imagery in the great sign. First, we have Virgo, the Virgin Princess, imaging the Virgin Mary. Second, the Virgin is clothed in the sun, imaging the life-giving Spirit of God. Third, the crescent moon is at her feet, heralding this day as the Jewish Feast of Trumpets. Fourth, on this day, the Virgin also has a special crown of twelve stars, representing the lineage of the high throne of the nation of Israel. Fifth, the Virgin gives birth to the crown prince, the Messiah. Sixth, the crown prince has just spent a long nine months in her womb. Times of the travels of the planets, then how could we interpret it as a significant event? How often does this configuration occur in the heavens? The answer, it occurs only this one time. At no other time is the Virgin clothed in the sun, with the moon at her feet, while she is wearing a crown of twelve stars, at the same time she gives birth. We have found no astronomy program that shows this configuration occurring at any other time throughout history, from the days of Adam, six thousand years in the past, till the end of the millennial reign, 1,000 years into our future. 